I'm Beth Krieger. Um, I'm one of the attorneys and teachers in the IJ Clinic on Entrepreneurship, and this is Kathy Gritchen. Hello. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. Trying to close that. Go. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and, and we have Sophia. Oh, <laughs> we're we're going to get a slipper in too. So, um, we're just going to tag team. Um, these slides have more information kind of packed into them than we can go over today. We're going to put them on the website so you can look more closely. Um, I'm sure you've developed speed reading skills in your other classes, but, um, but you don't have to absorb it all in the moment. But the IJ Clinic um, on Entrepreneurship is part of the Institute for Justice, which is a national public interest law firm. And we're driven by our mission to assist low income entrepreneurs, to educate our students, and to advocate for economic liberty. So I'm a fan of alliteration. I say we're attorneys, advocates, and activists mm -hmm. for entrepreneurs. <laughs> So um, we, we get to work with um, small businesses. So low income uh, or underserved entrepreneurs, predominantly on the south side, some on the west side as well. So the picture here is record track. Don't know uh, if any of you got to participate in the lunch talk we had where they came in and talked about how they got their business started and where they're headed. Uh, so in contrast to the presentation you just saw, we're working with people who may be down the street um, or a few blocks away in neighborhoods right around the law school. Um, they're trying to make a, a difference in their communities, in their neighborhoods, in their own lives, and in their own families by starting businesses. Um, we've listed a number of our, our clients here, and they have profiles and pictures on our website. Um, there's a wide variety uh, of hemp peels, uh, sells, I'm gesturing at this over here. Hemp peels, for example, sells um, skincare products that have hemp in them. Southside Food Co-op um, is trying to establish a community-owned cooperative grocery store. Um, Beauty Kini has uh, vending machines selling um, hair care products for um, textured hair in, on campuses and universities where um, people don't have access to those products in the neighborhood. Wild Blossom Meadery uh, makes all sorts of beverages um, based in honey. That's just a little, little sampling. So we cover a wide variety of industries. And so, um, you know, some people, it, when you talk uh, and say, you know, I'm a lawyer or I'm a law student, and I'm thinking of doing transactional law, they're like, well, what, what is that? Like you form companies, right? Like you fill out the form, you send it into the Secretary of State, and you're done, right? <laughs> No, it's a little more complicated than that. I mean, yes, that's a piece we do, but we we do a lot more than that. And so it's wrap around. We call ourselves wrap around general counsel, outside counsel, um, working with our clients, uh, and we get to work you know closely with them because they don't have legal teams. We are the team, so um, we're helping them uh, get their businesses started and running. Yeah, and I think counsel is a word that makes a lot of sense for what we do. We are really working with these entrepreneurs as they make decisions. We're bringing a different perspective. We're bringing in a whole set of information that they might not have access to about what the code says, about what the risks might be, about what other um, relationships out there in the world might look like. Student experience. <laughs> so, Sophia's going to um, tell you a little bit about how she got started with the IJ Clinic and some of the things she's been working on. Yeah, so um, I've had the pleasure of working with the IJ Clinic now for almost a year. I started out over the summer, um, which was super interesting. It was a little different than during the school year because I was working with multiple clients at one time. And then throughout the school year, I've just been keeping with mostly one client with Healthy Substance, the vegan Mexican restaurant. And we were helping them initially sort of navigate opening a potential second location and sort of what came with that, which is obviously licensing, restaurant licensing, liquor licensing, um, a PPA, which is a um, public place of amusement licensing. Like if they just wanted to have like dancing and a DJ and drinks and, I've gotten very familiar with the um, Chicago Municipal Code, which, <laughs> um, and then we've also helped them sort of navigate their lease payments, which were, you know, very high rate and sort of figuring out um, where to go from if they could make the payments, if they want to continue with the restaurant, they already had their other locations. So just sort of helping them navigate different business decisions and coming in at a different angle 
to sort of help them figure out, you know, how to move forward and where to go from there. Um, and I've just loved working with the clinic this year. You know, it's super fulfilling to feel like you're really making an impact in the Chicago and Southside community. Um, we can walk past our businesses. We've met with our clients and we meet with them. Like we try once a week, maybe every other week. We have team meetings every week. So it feels like you're really connected to the clinic and to Beth and Kathy who are just you know, incredible lawyers, mentors. Uh, they've taught me so much about transactional law and just how to interact with clients and different pieces of the law and like how to bring it all together. Um, and I don't think I'll get experience like this even at the firm I'm going to this summer. So I'm gonna <laughs> keep with it next year for sure. <laughs> But, you know, like one of the things that when Sophia talks about um, liquor licensing, like that sounds like, you know, big deal, right? There's multiple layers. There's the city, there's the county, there's the state, there's the national. And so one of the things we did over the summer was put all of that into one landing page, if you will. Gave it to the client. Client took it to <laughs> oh, BACP, who issues the Chicago license. Yes. And they were obsessed with our form and they want to keep it for themselves for people who are applying for liquor licenses in the future. So we even helped the government figure out how to streamline <laughs> their own process and, and explain it to people because yes. it's not easy. Yes. I've learned that the rules and regulations sort of that are like netting over people being able to open businesses are so complicated, even you know, for us who has, we have, you know, a little more expertise than our clients to look into these. And I don't know how people do it without legal counsel. It's very difficult. So I'm just happy that we're here to help. Thanks. Yeah. I think a couple of um, threads to pull on there, which do apply across clinics. Not, we're not competing very well. We're <laughs> you to just join the clinics. But the teamwork, I think, aspect is unique to clinics. You don't do a lot of teamwork in other classes. Um, and the really close relationship you have with clinical instructors um, is, is something to take note of. You know, we're sitting around a very small <laughs> round table in our offices, you know, going word by word, line by line through what we're writing. Um, and I think that's true across the board. Um, in addition to the work we're doing directly for our clients, we strive to be advocates for not only our clients, but low income entrepreneurs in Chicago. Um, it's a very it's an overwhelming thing to start a business. There's a lot to figure out, but it's scary to make a noise or complain about things that don't seem fair or just or uh, straightforward um, because people are scared that, that there will be repercussions or retaliation against them if they make a fuss. Um, so that's what we're here for. We can, can gather that information and think about it, take the time and resources that other students have mentioned and really apply it to these problems. Um, I'm wearing my iCart <laughs> street food shirt. So that's that's just one example of um, a form of entrepreneurship that is really squeezed um, by the law and, and we're here to stand up for them and, and see if we can make it easier and, and safer. Do community outreach also in addition to the, um, so direct client work, the uh, policy work, then we have workshops where we try to uh, pick topics that are of interest. So sometimes it's trademarks. Sometimes how do you negotiate a lease? You know, a lot of you have leases, right, for apartments. And um, if there's a problem, it's like, I got a leaky faucet. Uh, you know, there's a leak in my roof, right? Well, if you're a business, flip the script. Because if you read haven't read contract, that lease, baby. read that contract. Because mm -hmm. flip the script, you're in charge. You're responsible. So you're calling yourself, not the landlord. But a lot of people don't understand that. They've had, you know, um, a housing kind of a, uh, a lease and they don't understand that it's different in a business. So we have workshops to help people understand what that looks like and how to negotiate those. We also put on Southside Pitch every fall. So keep an eye out for that online and in person. Um, it's a contest that runs throughout the summer for Southside businesses to tell their stories and try to win um, the ultimate prize at the, at the end of the competition. So um, as we mentioned, students in the IJ clinic are on teams. They're working closely with their clients um, and closely with us. We have um, a classroom component, um, but it meets only every other week because um, we want to make sure you're spending as much of your time on client work as possible. Um, and, uh, and you have enough time with your team to plan and think, but and time with your client as well. Um, we also just want to note that it does count as pro bono for the New York bar. So that's, that's an extra little bonus um, if you're looking for transactional work that is also pro bono. 
Um, here's, here's just a long list of some of the things that you'll be able to hone while you're working with us. Um, issue spotting in an exam may be dreaded, but we're working with clients who are coming to us with dreams, with <coughs> visions, with plans. They don't necessarily know how those plans run into or can be supported by lawyers. Um, so part of what we're doing is, is supporting them to figure out what we can do for them and doing the analysis, the regulatory review, um, the advocacy, the drafting, the structuring um, to make their dreams come true. So that's our time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>